Hey now, welcome back to my channel. Um, I've almost finished my Perth class destroyer. Um, I spent the last two days trying to put on photo etching. Photo etching is quite difficult, especially on such a small scale model. I've had to use um, tweezers to put these on and yeah, they're, they're burnt ends because I've covered them with uh, so much super glue. My fingers and thumbs are just covered in super glue and they're rough and horrible. Um, so photo etching is like little metal components of these models that can add to detail. So the guardrails, uh, radar fits, uh, some models from what I've heard have photo etched guns or metal guns, uh, ladders, doors, patches. So it adds a lot, but on a seven to, uh, one seven, 220 scale model, it's bloody impossible nearly to put on. So I'm fairly happy with the result. So this little bit here, see if I can get it close to the, no, not gonna work, uh, is photo etching. Um, for a bit of a size comparison, the Australian five cent piece and the photo etching. So you can see it's quite, quite fine, quite small, but it, it, it does add to the, the detail of the ship. Um, this is a, the photo etching on its, on its sheet. I'm not sure what they call it. It's not a sprue, which is what the plastic components of the model comes on, which is that. So that's your sprue. Um, as you can see, most of the stuff's been taken off because it's on the ship. Um, so yeah, so with the photo etching on the ship, as we'll see here, please disregard the painting. I need to do that again. But you can see the gold on the ship there. That is the photo etching. And obviously that will, once the painting's been redone, excuse me, once the painting's been redone, that will uh, not be gold anymore. So just got to see if I can go a bit closer so you can see the detail. Let's see if I do this. So yeah, you can see it's it just adds a bit to the actual the actual ship. And if you look at the top from the top, you can see up here on the forecastle, it's a bit it's a bit crooked, a bit out of place. And same down here on the on the arse end of the ship. We can't really see it because that's actually not too bad. But yeah, um, I've enjoyed it. It's almost done so now i'm just hopefully waiting to receive my um my next package coming from brisbane hopefully this week that'll have my uh f4 phantom it's a scale of one to 48 which is quite large for an aircraft and the um oliver hazard perry class or the adelaide class ffg which I served on, on two of them, HMAS Darwin FFG-04 and HMAS Adelaide FFG-01. Um, both great ships. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that build. That build will probably be after the aircraft, but this will be a very sentimental and um, careful build for me due to the fact I actually served on them. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I'll do a an opening of the um, of the packs might do it live probably won't do it live because it's no one will watch it so um, yeah so um, hopefully over the next couple of next couple of months I'll have a better understanding of how to do this YouTube caper like add music and so you're not just looking at my dopey head and listen to my my boring monotone voice so yeah um, once this model's finished, I will try to do a music clip just to show you the actual uh, finished product. 
and I'll probably try to do it on my camera so instead of using my phone so you probably get a better better quality video all right I hope you all have a great Sunday um, take care